Is it just me or is KFC the best but also the worst at the very same time? I am sure the same problems crop up in every part of the world where KFC serves food. Yeah, mate, I don't know how they've done it, but somehow KFC and their zinger boxes have cast a spell over the Australian people. Yep, for some reason, any time an Aussie catches a glimpse of this bloke's face with the red and white colour scheme, their memory is instantly wiped of the last 15 times they had KFC and the fact that five minutes after they finished pounding a zinger box into them, they were shitting through the eye of a needle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. So, right, I'll tell you the story of why I'm actually watching this. Uh, and it's to find out if things are the same. So, if we, for example, are getting home late, we've played bowls in the evening, we're going to get home late, we need something quick. Um, we might, you know, Charlie might desperately want a KFC. And I say to her every time, you know it was bad the last time we had it. And then in the hope that it'll be good this time... We will get it. And guess what? Order order is wrong. The food is cold. Uh, you know, and, and it gives you a dodgy tummy. But will she ever learn? Will my wife ever learn that KFC is... It's just the bottom of the rung, isn't it? It is bottom of the rung. But it clearly is the problem in the other countries as well. It's no wonder, really, you know, because, I mean, your average KFC trip goes like this. After just having your memory wiped, you decide to head down to your local Kentucky Fried to begin the patented KFC ordering process, which consists of you spending 27 and a half minutes at the front counter while a 13-year-old who very clearly cannot work the register properly takes your order. But not to worry, mate, because after only a short 45-minute wait, you finally hand the goods and make your way over to one of the many permanently greased-up tables covered in little bits of lettuce and mayonnaise that KFC has to offer. So after true. picking your zinger box up off the floor, you bust open the box and discover not only are you missing half your order but the stuff they have included consists of one of those pathetic salads in a cup and a wicked wing with a bite taken out of it well at least i remembered you using a burger and all your woes will go away once you get this thing into you so you peel back the wrapper go in for the first bite and surprise surprise the sultans of salmonella themselves have provided yet another piece of raw chicken <laughs> all right i haven't had the problem with raw chicken but exactly what he said they either don't have items they put the wrong thing in. I've never had a cup full of salad, so that's a different one. And luckily, I've never had the, the chicken undercooked. But the wrong order is just constant. Disappointing, but expected. At this point, you reach for your can of Pepsi Max TM to wash the taste out of your mouth, but right as you grab it, it slips clean out of your hands and onto the floor. Yep, despite only being one bite into the meal, you are completely greased from the eyebrows down, mate. But not to worry, KFC has thought ahead and have included a handy little wet wipe to solve all your problems. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, about the size of a postage stamp, but it's a thought that counts, mate. And I'm <laughs> so small the little lemony lemony wipes ours don't look like that but a little lemony wipes they're so small that you are not cleaning yourself at all i mean i'm not knocking it mate you know i love kfc that's kind of the whole reason i started working here in the first place and it's fucking excellent you know i love it the work's easy and i get free kfc whenever i want mate how good <laughs> 37 family boxes for the same car fuck it did that happen to be a, a Tarago by any chance, mate? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, okay. And did there happen to be someone playing guitar in the background while they ordered? Okay, ukulele. Okay, yeah, no, that is real, mate. That's not a prank. I'll be in in a sec. Yeah, mate, easily my favourite part of the gig, though, is the drive through And I've got to say, I really think I've found my calling here, you know, because for some reason, I've just got a real knack for dealing with these people. Yes, mate, yeah, I do understand that a chicken shop running out of chicken is ironic, mate, okay? I do get that, all right? But i just got to ask you one question, mate. Do you think I'm driving the fucking truck in here every day myself or something, do you? No. So what the fuck do you want me to do about it, mate? I can either do your twister with just the lettuce on it, a salad in a cup, or you can back your shitbox out of my driveway and fuck off. <laughs> But yeah, mate, unfortunately, the elephant in the room with these sorts of jobs is uh, it's definitely the pay. And uh, I knew that going in, which is why I've been on the lookout for any sort of gap in the market that I can weasel my way into, and uh, I think I found it. Yeah, mate, you would not fucking believe the demand for some of these discontinued items KFC has, mate. I mean, I'm selling double downs absolutely hand over fist out here, and the secret is, even though it's not on the menu anymore, you can still go in there and order two burger fillets on their own, slap a bit of cheese and bacon on there, and bam, the double down is back. <laughs> Wait, I can just do that? <laughs> 
Mate, I'm doing a fucking thing here. Can't you see the camera, mate? <laughs> I'm just gonna go in there if you can just do that instead. Oh, eh? come on, mate. No, don't, don't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. You see that? You see what you've done? You just cost me a sale, mate. You owe me eight dollars, net. No, I'm not fucking joking. I'm having a crap. And turn this fucking camera off too, would you? Um, so I, I do it with McDonald's, for example. That, that there's this whole secret menu. I don't know if it's real, but I never get a Big Mac. I always just get a double cheeseburger with Big Mac sauce in. E easy. Has to have extra gherkins. And you might as well add the lettuce in as well, because that's free. Uh, it's easy trick to do. Hey, mate. Half price. What is the charge? Eating a meal? Yeah, you used to sell bigger straws, you know, for the crushers. Big hit they were, you know. Because you ever tried drinking a crusher through a normal straw, mate? Miserable. It's like they trying to so suck a good. ball through a crimp safe door. Holy fuck. Those KFC crushers were so good, and I don't even know if they still do them. They were really good, actually. But my order of choice is probably two, two uh, lunchbox meals, which is chips. And you can get it with hot wing, two hot wings, one... Anyway... That's normally my choice, uh, but I do like a Zinger burger. But no matter what you order, it'll always end up a disaster and real disappointment. That is KFC summed up. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm just jumping no here at the end for a quick little PSA. I've been seeing a lot in the comments over the last like year of the channel, uh, people calling the character Murph Garn. Uh, Garn is the name of the channel and, and the group, consisting of two people, myself and my brother Declan. This is how the show runs, right? I show up on set, the script is ready to go, the props are ready to go, the costume's ready to go. He does all that. I say the exact lines he wants me to say, the exact way that he wants me to say it. He takes that home, he edits it, and then he uploads it to the channel okay so he's actually a much larger part of the the channel than you guys realize so that's why we've added him to the cover photo you probably see that on facebook and youtube anyway thanks for watching again and we'll see you later i would say charlie's a bigger part of this channel but she's not so that's why it's just me and rob reacts um yeah kfc the best and the worst at the same time and it is a really really weird one isn't it uh, i do wonder how he got his his outfit though uh, but yeah, what are your experiences of KFC? Let me know down in the comments. I've given you some. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.